and welcome back to the Fireside Gathering Brawl 2017. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we will be going completely on the uh, face of the webcam, of course, and we'll uh, hope you had a nice short break drinking some water and staying hydrated or checking out the other streams, giving us a follow on social media platforms as Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Twitch TV. That's also yeah. social media because there's Twitch chat. And I am once again Typhon Hawk, being joined here by Nivo. Hello, everyone. Um, it was a good day of Hudson, actually. We have a yeah. bunch of good players and good games here um, today. We reduced everything from... 16 um, fireside gatherings to two. Yes. The one from Bordeaux, the meltdown. One of the five is in the final. And yeah. Milan. 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 Also in the final. That's uh, uh, out of Italian. Yeah. Italia. This one, the planet Italy. over there. Mm -hmm. Right on top of me. And it is also the location of the Italian stream, which is doing really, really well. So shout out to them for once. Uh, having a stream up as well, and second for reaching the final with their location. And uh, this is really important, because now they are playing for 90 euros, mm -hmm. and of course, gear from Rocket and goodies from Blizzard. Yep. And uh, yeah, all of that is brought uh, to the players, basically, from our sponsors, Meltdown and Rocket. So thank you to both of them, and of course, Blizzard for making Hearthstone and uh, Yoda for organizing the entire tournament. <coughs> so, yeah, that is that is really nice, getting so, so much money yeah. for a day of playing Hearthstone and hopefully having fun. And hopefully, and I also hope for you guys that you're enjoying y the session we made for you today. Yeah. And if you like what you saw today on our channel, just leave us a follow on Twitch and make sure to hit the like button on Facebook and Twitter so you are up to everything we're going to produce in next time. Yeah. Our upcoming events and streams. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have two locations left, Milan and Bordeaux. We have right. seen uh, some of the players already from both teams as we have cast both the semifinals. Uh, so a little bit of them um, is known. Mm. And... And now the interesting part is who will reach the, the title of Fireside Gathering Brawl Champion. Champion, exactly. Who is the best players in their location? Yeah, who who chose <coughs> the best <coughs> players maybe as well? Because I'm yeah. pretty sure that there were some locations where there were more than three volunteers to play in the Fireside yeah. Gathering. Uh, so you had to decide who is going to play. And uh, in the end, it worked out really well for these two teams as they reached the finals. Pretty much, yeah. And if you have a look back, which players even were in this tournament? Yeah. Um, there was like Hoy, yeah, a really known Hearthstone player over the world, and uh, out of uh, Denmark. Yeah. But they are uh, wa were kicked out of from the location out of Moscow. Yeah, and they reached the semifinals. Yeah, they reached the semifinals, but no, they, no, lost they, they, they lost in the round of eight. Round because of eight? if really? they would have been in the semifinals, they would be playing for play, uh, number th uh, third place, which they are not doing. So uh, Moscow is playing for third. Yeah. Right. right. Sorry. So uh, they lost in the, in the round of eight, but uh, at least being in the top 50%, so they beat half of the competition. And... Uh, yeah, we actually know which player is going to play against which player from the location. So we have Bordeaux, uh, from Bordeaux, Pate Cabo playing against Snowman from Milan, mm -hmm. as well as Ad Giban from Bordeaux playing against Inivan from Milan, who we saw quite, quite a bit on stream today already, I think. And then Dodu who was the last one on the stream to win this match here with a top-decked... Uh, Reno Jackson against uh, <coughs> uh, Rome from, but Dodo of course playing from Bodo is uh, playing against Romeos from uh, Milan. Yeah, and we're gonna watch on the stream the match uh, Patacabo versus Snowman. Yes, it's gonna exactly. be the match we're gonna show you guys, and we keep you up to date how it's standing between the other players. We try to give as much as information about it as possible. Yeah. Um, 
So it's going to be interesting. What's your call? Who's going to win? Who's going to take the title of the Fireside Gathering Brawl? Uh, that's uh, that's really hard to, to, to call because uh, I've been casting all day and did not have a lot of time to watch over the deck lists and mm -hmm. uh, uh, also the, the results of mm -hmm. all the locations. So I would be uh, like take the cheap out and say the location that won more of the games 3-0 instead of 2-1. So, but I don't know which one it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy for either team if the, if they win. Yeah, it's. Um. I think all the players showed that they can play pretty good Hearthstone here, and yeah. we received the information that all players in every matchup ban Shaman. Yeah. So there was going to be completely no Shaman on this final stage of our tournament today. Um. It's good because you al always see shamans on ladder in tournaments, as we saw today, a lot of shamans. Yeah. Um, it's good to have no shamans, at least. So, But uh, I'm not quite sure if it's just all Milan players banning shaman or if it is... Uh ah, okay. All, no, mi only Milan players ban shaman. I... Let's f let the yeah, we, uh, we will wait out. We went, we went administration out finish our information yeah. text. So um, we keep in mind that there's... Um, At least some shamans are banned. That's what we know so banned. far. That's shamans, good. there may or may not be some shaman bans here. That's mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about shaman bans. Shaman bans are uh, good, I would say, because there's um, a lot of good shaman decks, but... It comes to your lineup of decks. What you bring to a tournament if you want to ban a shaman? Yeah, but if you if you like, there's this new player going to his first tournament and going, "Hey, Nivo, what decks should I ban? Would you say shaman or would you say another class?" Uh, I would just let um, inform him myself over the decks he's gonna bring. Yeah. Or what he's comfortable with playing with. So there's a different ban. Like if you like, oh my god, Reno Warlock is the best. You should ban the Jade Druid over a Shaman. Definitely. Because you ought to lose every matchup with a Jade Druid. Yeah. Normally. <laughs> Normally. <laughs> you should lose. Um, so, the players are about to start. We're going to hop on in the game for you guys. And, um, yeah, let's see. Oh. Okay, we got here the um, Reno Mage against a Hybrid Warrior. It's a uh, hybrid Mario means for you guys who's not knowing this. Um, he's got a pirate and dragon, so he's a tempo yeah. orientated um, deck, which means he's not always going phase. Yeah, it's important he's, to know. He's not smoking as much as the pirate warrior because he has yeah. a few cards that give him more ability to he's even sustain. Ragnaros. Yeah. So he got and he got the deck Dragon Knight Crusher, who is going to be a nine nine. So he got a big threats upcoming here for the mage, but still, um, if the mage can get his ice block out and after turn six is not popped and not has to force to play Reno, he's in a pretty good spot. Yeah. And also one important thing is we have here, as you can see on the left side, Snowman from Milan playing on the bottom as the uh, probably Reno mage, and we see. Uh, from Bordeaux, Pate Cabo at the top as the Warrior. Mm -hmm. So far everything looks uh, relatively standard. You have your, your opening with a charging... Uh, what's his name again? Patches? Patches, exactly. That's when I'm casting too long, I forgot all the names. Uh, one interesting thing is I don't think we have seen a single Patches in hand at the beginning of the game, right? Oh, a lot of... Yeah? Heaps, like... Four or five. So or all of them were when I'm not casting them. Maybe. Because I don't think I've seen a patches in the hand today. Mm -hmm. I think we. S I, I saw one being Mulligan, but that's always really nice because you, you can be assured that he is not in your hand at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. The coin ping opening here against this is with his hand and it's reasonable. Yeah. Because you can remove the big damage of the board, but now there's coming a fierce monkey down. So what you're gonna do now? Volcanic potion is not what you want to play here. No, I think you go with the babbling book and the ping, or you could go with the the ice, ice, barrier, ice barrier. Is also reasonable. Heals you for eight health now. 
and yeah. you're gonna wait what he's gonna play what if he's playing no I wonder. Hmm. there are two plays here actually the babbling book ping and the Iceberium. yeah babbling it depends what comes out of the babbling book yeah, but if you if if you play the the babbling book, you can't play ice barriers anymore. So you yeah. have to basically get something like a frostbolt, maybe a. I, I don't even know if you would play arcane missiles in this turn, but because the chance to do something meaningful with them is not that high, and you're floating mm -hmm. a mana, mm -hmm. the thing you want to do is kill the patches, and that you can do with your um, hero ability as well. So. Arcane Explosion is nothing you would looking for. So th the uh, there isn't too many cards you want to get with a babbling book. So Ice Barrier, it's it's a yeah. good thing because it gives you just eight health more against this. And what you keep in mind, what we're gonna see now is that Dragon Warrior is playing with an Execute, so big threats like an Antonidas are are easy removed for him. He don't have to put like as much his damage resources in like a uh, yeah. Pirate Warrior, pure Pirate Warrior. Yep, it's gonna soak up a lot of damage here. But now you're in the same spot. Yeah. Oh, Kazakas. Actually okay here to go with Kazakas and getting a 5 potion. Because yeah. a 5 potion gives a board clear here. Yeah, one. and uh, y you have a lot of options to get good, good things with the, the Kazakus potion and it is also the best way to spend his turn, yep. uh, the mana of his turn. So and what it he was got a, fu a really first deal five interest. damage. Yeah, maybe. It's his yeah. It's the first one he can pick. So what? Okay, the four damage to all definitely. And what has he drafted together? It's the five damage and the four damage. A O okay. E. Because now it makes uh, it makes a bit more sense because um, the warrior is gonna play the. Um, How's it called? Azure Drake, maybe. On but you maybe we don't want to play it because it's the only dragon in hand. Yeah. Feels a bit awkward. So maybe he's gonna be for the furthering with slam and trade with the patches. Yeah. But um, I would like to play as a warrior, but he got the right potion for it. He got the yeah. right answer on the right time. So he's gonna clear the board and stabilize. Yeah, but the question for for you as the pirate warrior is then, or the the hybrid or dragon warrior is, what are the chances that he gets exactly the potion that clears your board? That you don't play around it. And normally, if you don't, if you say the chances is low enough, or you lose too much tempo by playing around it, then you're going for the for the frothing and clearing the board as as, as effective as possible. But oh. it seems like he feels confident to just ignore the board. And maybe just use his hits. Okay, he's not slamming, he's just using his war axe. And um, his armor. But you're gonna but you're gonna see the potion now, I guess. Yeah. It's gonna be it's too much damage on potion. the board, so you go five damage to the face and clear the board. Yeah. Reasonable. And if you look at the resources that both players have left, the mage is in a fantastic position. The most important thing for him is now to survive. And there's still the charge of the fiery warx, which means that he can get the... If he draws the Draconic Crusher, he can get it out as a 9-9 now. Yeah. Because there's 16 health left and 3 damage on the weapon. Oh, but he's drawing another dragon, so he can play his dra as a drake. Uh. If you're, no, it's probably getting fireballed your Azure Drake now. Yeah. Because the mage is not allowed to keep anything like this up. Yeah, not with the health pool he is at. Because there's too much damage left that the pirate uh, the, the hybrid warrior can do in uh, a short term. Wait, what? what's the worst thing that can happen to you? No, okay, you have the fireball now, fireball ping. Or fireball with uh, Doomsayer, actually. I like it. Because he has to use an execute. Probably if you want to keep a 1-1 one, one alive. When he's not doing it, it stalls you another turn. You know? Yeah. I like it. Because even if you if you use the fire fireball and he clears your Doomsayer, it's not that important that you lost it because your opponent uses a lot of 
resources that could also not be spent on then developing the board once again. So mm. even if the, the the Doomsayer does not clear the board, then there's still a good chance to basically try and stabilize. Okay, he's using the execute now. So um, you're you're the you know that most of the Dragon Warriors only run one execute to keep in mind. Yeah. So there's a fire land land portal now for the mage and what he's getting up. That's ah. that's one of the better things you can get out of it. I like the it. Doom Guard. <laughs> of course, Doom Guard is amazing because it five is seven five seven and seven charge. charge. But still, five so six. Overall, yeah. If you think you could also get a Stormpike Commando, <laughs> or a uh, uh, BGH, BGH four two stat line off. Oh, it's good. That's yeah, the same as uh, Stormpike Commando. Yeah. Both not what you're looking for. But the dr Dragon Warrior got the perfect answer here. Yeah. So maybe it's in time now to go for the Ice Block. You only got 11 HP left. Or what? Are you gonna play Blizzard into ping? Yeah, I think that's. But do you wanna? Do you wanna Blizzard two minions? I, I don't know. But if you get popped before you get a Reno on your hand, you're in a big trouble. Yeah, and the thing with the Blizzard is how many minions will the warrior ever have on the board because he's down to three cards, and I don't think he has a lot of ways to refill his hand. Mm. So. Unless he suddenly dumps all of his board, uh, all of his cards onto the board, which is rather unlikely as he, did, as he hasn't done it before. Mm -hmm. The chance is really low that he is doing it now, I would say, but... I like AI as well. It seems like uh, Snowman is feeling confident enough that he can survive another turn without the ice block getting popped, because that would be rather bad for him. And the ice block will not get popped, so uh, that's good for him. It's yeah. actually pretty good. He can use the blizzard. Uh, or can he use flame strike? Is not enough. Flame strike would mean wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. What you gonna do? Flame strike means that the Flame three strike? three two survives and y your your ice block is getting popped. What? The 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 what? card in the middle. If you just use uh, blizzard, there's a chance for your ice block to survive another turn. And you still have two mana, so you could. No, uh, you 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 can play blizzard into volcanic potion. To clear the board, you only got one yeah. hand card, so probably it's not a big card. Hopefully, but we know it's Deathwing, but never mind. So you, n but you never lose use the ice lands now to keep yeah. your ice block alive. You never. Yeah, yeah I like the I like the blizzard yeah. and do the volcanic potion. It's completely clearing the board. No, there's still the three two. Oh, sorry, pardon. Okay, now you can just play that one and <laughs> save the Deathwing for another turn. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And that's the question you can even the Alexstrasza thing. yourself now. Yeah. If there's no coming damage from... Oh, big, big, big. Okay, do you play Reno here? I guess... Guess you can could play Archmage into Nidus into in into, uh, into Iceland's the nine nine. Yeah, it's reasonable. Mm. Yep. And, and then you could also play the, the the babbling book first to see if you get another spell because a you cheap spell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're probably not going to ping anything meaningful. So, if you don't want to ping anything meaningful, you can start with the babbling book in case you get something better than the. The Archmage and Tinnitus play. Mm -hmm. I like it. But it seems like he wants to open with the Antonidas. And this should mean that he pings? No, he is just using the wrong... Okay, oh, he is going for the ping. I don't know, I think the... the Do you play Deathwing now? Do you play it? 
The question is... Uh, you you gonna you're gonna pop the ice block anyway. You're gonna yeah. pop it. Yeah, and, and then, then you, you're you gonna play. You fair. have to play Deathwing because uh, if you don't play Deathwing, do two fireballs will clear your board. Mm. And this way you get a really big body out onto the field. Oh god! So you now you can play a babbling book into a Reno, and then um, still use the Frost Nova. Yeah. Yeah. Babbling book first, of course, because if you get something like a polymorph, yeah, it's big. But it don't makes a difference. You can't play polymorph anyway. What to do? This turn, yeah. But you're gonna play polymorph, uh, babbling book first, because you're gonna reno now anyways. Yeah, you could also still get a frost bolt or something <laughs> like that. Oh, <laughs> so you get now two turns to draw a polymorph. But it is really huge because this this turn you can play um, Frost Nova. Next turn you can play Ice Lands no. and Alexstrasza, and that yeah. means you can. Mm -hmm. y uh, it's just four health, but, but you can uh, suddenly can try and raise the uh, the uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, warrior. Yeah, 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 I would. Yeah. I like it. But he's gonna play the Ice Lands because um, he wants the Frost Nova for extra minions coming down. Yeah, but then you can't use the. Okay, Alexstrasza would only be for damage, but still, it's a huge body you want to get out onto the field, I would say. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And it's just a dragon knight, yeah. And you're sitting at, at 30 health, so any other minion isn't really that dangerous to you. You can't clear the uh, Deathwing next turn, so you have to play first number, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, so I think the, the getting the Alexstrasza down next turn would have been better. Because it's a eight eight body and you can start racing. This way you are, you don't really have a board. You can play. You rely Thorazen. on drawing a polymorph. Yeah, you you can get your Thor uh, Thorazen, but your Thorazen is a five five instead of an eight eight, and you know that the Vori has really sh huge problems dealing with the board in this situation because he's top decking. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I get that. And what did he get out? A ping. For not using the 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 frost nova. Yeah. The frost nova again. Frost nova emperor. Yeah, of course. This is the only this is the play you want to do now. But still, you can't deal the damage you would deal with an Alexstrasza on the board. Of course, but it's the best you can do now. Yeah. Because emperor reduces everything again, and with an emperor he can raise them as well. Because yeah. it's now ten damage on board. What's obviously good. You got face here. Yeah. yeah. With nah, nah one hundred percent face. You have fi uh, six damage in hand. You have ten damage on board. Makes sixteen. So. Yeah. Reduction is going in. Nice. A slam is not gonna do the job here. But you're gonna clear with this um, the uh, emperor. What is oh Ragnaros? Oh, this is big. This is so big. This is really, really good. But there's a babbling book, ready to take the hit. Oh, nice. Okay. Holy guacamole! This is a good game here. The mage but I comes feel through. That's quite the early concede, right? He yeah. was still at f 18 health, and he had a Ragnaros. What did happen there? What did happen there? I'm I am really surprised by that conceit. Because you have an 8-8 eight, eight Ragnaros on the board, you have a 12, 11. But wait, he got a flame strike, he got a fireball in the zero mana uh, arcane blast. So he flame strikes first. So Ragnaros is at four. Ragnaros get cleared by Reno. Yeah. And Deathwing is at seven. seven get Fireball Ping. Uh, thing. Uh, the board was clear. There was still the, th the two three left. Yeah, but the board his two only two threats. Yeah, and still he doesn't know that. Yeah, yeah, but just to yeah, just to calculate it through. It was a full clear. It, it was a good situation for the mage, <coughs> but still, I don't think you concede in that situation. Um, yeah, no, you just look first if the enemy got it. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. And you still mm. can, of course, your your options are getting limited. You still ha you have one six six body left in the deck, one of the dragonite crushers. Yeah, yeah one one six six. Yeah, right. right. Um, 
but your opponent has also used a lot of his cards already. Ah, Antonidas was used. Reno was used. But there's still Alex Razor and stuff. But yeah. I don't know why he's conceding it. Never I think mind. it is too early. Never mind, never mind. We go into the next game with the Rogue. Against the Warrior. Um, if it was a pure Pirate Warrior, the warri Pirate Warrior would be favored. But I guess in this matchup... <coughs> if on turn 6 there's coming the Miracle turn... Um... I see the uh, rogue favored here. Yeah. According to... Um, but the question is, are you able to still play the miracle turn in turn six or are you too low on health? And uh, if we, uh, we see that Pete uh, Pete Carbro is already completely reliant on a mulligan. And that's a really good one. Besides getting patches in the hand. But... Uh, both Even they are fair, they both draw patches in the both first turn. Both so getting patches. Um, if you now play a pirate, what you're gonna do every time is just you show that you don't get patches in your deck. That's good. That's okay. That's reasonable. Yeah. Now he's hoping that the other players don't get patches in his deck as well. What he don't get, what we know. So it's a yeah. good. It's a decent start for everyone. So it's fair. Not comp entirely broken. Nice of them to agree to have patches in their hands <laughs> for once. Yeah. Even in the final. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. But it is... Uh, yep. Dig up. Still not the best hand for the rope afterwards, because... Uh, of course, the, the Tomb Pillager was a good pickup, but... Otherwise... Patches. Next turn, next turn he can play coin to yeah. position. It's good. It's strong. It's pretty strong. So I'm fine with it. But it is also getting answered by a good option. Good hero power here to bot control. Priests yeah. get the best hero power for bot controlling, at least. Yeah. Um, cause you can and now your like your tomb pillager is running into a uh, three two. Yeah, you can play patches, and trade, and. They go up again. So you can play Tomb Pillagent on Curve and then Azure Drake. Yeah. So you get two coins. And uh, that's gonna be a big miracle turn if you get yeah. a. Now you just need to draw the miracle. The auctioneer. If he now draws an auctioneer into prep or something, then it's gonna be big. Oh, that's annoying. But it's okay, I guess. Thank you. Ah, and there's auctioneer. the auctioneer. But in, in this oh, situation yeah. for the what is really important for the, the Warrior is that he has the <laughs> hero ability of the <laughs> priest because he can heal up and uh, yeah. still keep applying a little bit of pressure. And now the minion is damaged, so he has to um, he has to eviscerate it and can't like shadow strike him or if even yeah. if you play shadow strike or backstab it. Good. But still, there are now two coins, so we now play Ezra Drake. Yep. If you wait to till turn seven, it's gonna be big, the uh, fan cleave. Yeah. But you don't play for fan cleave. You play turn six with uh, the coin, coin and conceal. I guess. Yeah. I don't think it is worth waiting in another turn. And. Uh, no, you have to to like uh, challenge the board. Yeah, and you have to draw the important cards of your deck. The coins are completely useless. Unless being played with the auctioneer, because or you have to get the the other cards out of your deck. So or for Van Cleef. Yeah, but in this situation, you basically have two dead cards in your hand. So yeah. you have to use the miracle to get good cards out of them. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's pretty interesting here. What you're gonna do? You could go for the frothing and uh, heal once more to keep your three three alive as a three one and get a what is it a 6 4 mm -hmm. frothing. Mm -hmm. I agree. So you heal trade it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big frothing turn here. So, yeah. oh, auctioneer.
coin, coin, eviscerate the 6 4. That's the play. Hope for a prep so that he can also use the conceal. Yeah. The but it's perfect to draw now into the eviscerate. Conceal mm. again. And eviscerate. just another eviscerate. Maybe you draw prep now? Or backstab? No, sap. No, sap. But still okay, you can clear the 3 1 with your face. Yeah. So the board is cleared and there's no way answering the hand of the uh, warrior to clear an auctioneer. It's an open auctioneer on the board. So next turn, there's going to be even more spells coming. Yeah. It's, that's huge. That's, that's, that's actually really huge. That's really, really good for him. <coughs> now the question is, do you try... Can you fish for anything for one mana to help you against the auction or you just go for the 6-6 the six, six buddy? With uh, Ashes Break, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I guess you're gonna play on curve but if you play azure drake you have to play the uh, small time buccaneer as well just to yeah. keep the tempo you 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 can't rel rely on the uh, you can't give the tempo to the um rogue because you have to contest the auctioneer on board yeah, the to. good thing the good thing about using the small time buccaneer and the azure drake is that you spread your power a little bit more yeah. which makes it harder for the rogue to de remove anything because the 6 6 can just be sapped mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. with a miracle ba basically on the board oh wait 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 Do, how big is going to be this funk leaf really really big you can start so out you can then eviscerate or and or get another counterfeit coin, coin. Um, i guess this is game Yep, at least now it is game because that's another eight damage being pushed to the face. So that's wait, wait. the we got a lag now. Oh, we got a we got a bug. Yeah, but we know. And it's, it's it's really sad that we can't see the uh, cards that are being drawn now, but it seems mm -hmm. like uh, the the beautiful miracle turn, and we can't see it. It's like ah, oh, come on, Blizzard. Okay, but we we, we uh, basically know that there's Fan Cleave being played. With an 8-4 Auctioneer and a Conceal, so it's lethal anyway, because he still has his Zap. And we have... Uh, Holy shit. Backstab, Cold Blood, Coin. Eviscerate. Coin. Uh, yeah, he could have played the coin. It he, he seems the like coin. the small time Buccaneer was played, so yeah. that's at least five cards being so it's played. So 12, 12. Yeah. 12, 12, Van Cleef concealed with an 8, 4 auctioneer and a sap in the hand. This game was over. Yeah. Totally over. So sad we didn't saw the miracle. Yeah. This is one of the least miracles you're just like watching and you're feeling like, ah, oh, this is so good. Like, yeah. so... Unbelievable good. So tending to play a rogue when it's the miracle is so beautiful and perfect. Everything yeah. you draw is like in the hand right in. And in the end it worked out the way uh, you said in the beginning with reaching turn 6, having the auctioneer and then starting the miracle. And the warrior was not able to do anything against it. And that allowed uh, the rogue to snowball out of, out of control yeah. basically. And uh, that was the problem with the uh, warrior having a really, really weak early early start with patches in the hand, the opponent also having a lot of early game drops and then not a real follow-up for the next yeah. turns. He, he basically dropped off in turn two, three. There, was, there wasn't the, the strong pushes that you know, for example, from the from Pirate Warrior where every turn is just another huge threat. And in this situation, it felt like he lost a little bit too much tempo and uh, therefore wasn't I able to come back into the game. Because we're back in the menu now. Yeah. Uh, so sad. But we know what happened, so... And everyone who's watching us, I yeah. guess you're good, decent enough in Hearthstone to understand. Snowman, what we, what Snowman we just you. confirmed that he won the game. Uh, I think we are not really surprised by that. So, oh, we got the warrior mirror. And uh, this is a complete pirate warrior from Snowman. Yep. While P uh, Pate, 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 Cabo is still <laughs> playing his... What, what kind of info? 
Pate Carbo. Pate Carbo. <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually never learned any French, I have to admit. I so had it like in the sixth or fifth I grade. I, I, I just know like, you know, the words that you pick up like Messi and... Bonjour. Baguette. <laughs> baguette. Ribéry. <laughs> baguette, baguette, baguette is really important in StarCraft, so... <laughs> really? Yeah, because there was uh, there's a lot of good French players and then always everyone in Twitch chat and everywhere said oh. raise your baguettes. This so game is over. Yeah, I, uh, it looks it looks really good for... It, it uh, relies on the top deck of... Um, Patrick Carbo. I mean, he, he still can clear the 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 two th mm. uh, one now, and he still has a three two, which mm. is a really good mm. position, mm. because I even agree. if the Alex Strasser's champion gets cleared now, or well, he can he could play upgrade as well to clear, but he can yeah. leave it up. But still, uh, do you play the upgrade now, or you do you wait for upgrade? Uh, I don't think you wait for upgrade uh, for Warx. Or do you? That's that's a yeah, tough the question. The yeah, the uh, the upgrade yeah, gives okay. gives you a lot of a lot of a lot of attacks here, which is really nice. And you can keep patches in hand, yeah. just to f with the one damage clear for taunts or everything. And that's a really good pickup here because he already has another option to play his next turn with a with a four drop, and having oh. the six, ten, and eight drops in his hand, he can like play the um, raider coin into crosser. Corsair? Yeah. Oh, that's big. That's a 3-3 three, three and a 4-3 with but Taunt. But still, the uh, the monkey clears the Taunt. Unless yeah. he gets cleared now. Now, if you clear him, but you can't use both of them now. You can only play one. And then there is the uh, Corcoran who can clear the 4-3. Yeah, but if you... Yeah, but the board is empty then against the pirate warrior. But you have to clear it because of the pirate synergy. Yeah. So, but we see now. If the game keeps on going like this, with both uh, trading out. Paid Carbo gonna win. Paid Carbo will, will definitely win. So for him, everything is still oh. fine. Un but he has to get a good top So now. now he's playing his whole hand, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is big. This is big. It's like four damage now. And now if he's redrawing like um how's it called? Cultist, the pirate cultist, giving one one on the weapon. Yeah. Now he's gonna mm. play Berserker into Slam, I guess. Yeah, and you slam the two one? Yeah. Definitely. Because slamming Taking one damage from the board. Yeah, and of course the other way is okay, you draw a card but you don't get anything out of it. Mm. And uh, slamming the 2-1 is enough that your Frothing Berserker competes with the b both of the cards on the board. But I guess you're gonna ignore now the Frothing Berserker and gave go full face with your whole damage. You have to pressure now. You, you, you have to. I, I could also see... Try, um, if, you, if you leave the Frothing... Uh, okay, um... If you go face with everything, you have to be ready to clear the frothing in the next turn with your weapon. Because the frothing will take would have taken out one of the Dread Corsairs, and then you have to clear it. I actually like that, going full face, because you still can clear another card and keep your... Uh, yeah, okay, now you clear the 5-4. Do you actually... That's we are in the same situation yeah. as before. Because and if he's not doing that now, he was last turn was a twelve dam uh, ten yeah. dam twelve damage phase, and now plus four again. So he would be like near to death now. The he, he would have been at uh, he would have would be at nine. But uh, this is uh, uh, he changed the way he is playing now. That's for sure. He would be um, at nine damage. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And now the other one just has to play this and into the, his taunt and armor up. And but next turn there's Ragnaros. Yeah, but uh, you don't care anymore for board as Pirate Warrior. Yeah, but still. <gasps> oh, this is so big. And now you go trade and four into the face armor up. Yeah. yeah. Four into the face and hopefully you draw your uh, Arcanite Reaper and the Ragnaros has to f hit face. The Ragnaros has to fit your f hit your face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be so. Paid Carbo has had 
one really bad Ragnaros before hitting the babbling book. Uh, babbling book. Yep. Uh, so he has the chance to redeem himself, the Ragnaros. I think he is also considering going with a 6-6 six -six and using armor up because then... But there's no way he dies next turn. Because the most damage uh, the pirate warrior could do is... 10. Uh, nine, right? Because he can get fa uh, ten with Leroy. Leroy six. Oh yeah, plus Leroy. St there's Leroy in the deck. Mm. Okay. It's an it's an aggressive acro deck, so there's yeah. Leroy. Okay, now he can fully trade to the other board. Yeah, that's really good. And, and now he has stabilized up. in a way. Mm, he got five HP left plus two. He He's has to seven. draw now. Uh, he uh, can't. Knight Reaper. He can't die because he has uh, he gets armor up. Yeah, but he has to draw now Arcanite Reaper. Yeah. And Heroic, Heroic Strike is not too bad. You have to play it and go face. Yeah, you have You're to only give up out. the treasure. But Top decking damage. That's the key. But the um, uh, Pied Cabo has stabilized. He can still lose the game, of course, with a top deck, but he is in the position where he can win in the next few turns. This is typical like on leather, what everyone of course, maybe happens sometimes. But this is the important thing for him. He has to reach this state, otherwise he can't win at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. So now he's gonna armor up Ragnaros, I guess. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, do you even play Ragnaros? Because now, if you armor up, you're s with when Ragnaros hits face now, he's so low that the Mortal Strike can kill him. Yeah. But do you even play around the top deck now? Uh, what, but how much damage would you have had? Let <gasps> oh! That's, that's a 3-0 of Snowman. That was a quick. Yeah. Holy crap. Well done. And now we see the 4 damage before maybe made a difference, so he was lethal earlier. Yeah. Maybe. We don't know what the um, yeah. reaction of um, hi him yeah, and he, he still had enough health so that... So uh, I don't know what the other games are doing. Maybe our administration can have a look inside or have a quick ask. And that was already team. a really quick victory for Milan. So, so they just need we to know it's 1-0 right yeah. now. 1-0 for Milan. I know this was... I don't know, but I think this was the quickest. Um, I would guess so. Uh, yeah. So this was the quickest matchup we had here. Yeah, it's actually in the just final. Just 11 p.m. I was just like... Oh, finals. Okay, it's gonna be a long and good final. Like before, it's, it's just like. The, but the, the rogue game was just hilarious. Good. The the warriors uh, did not approve this plan of yours, so they yeah. decided to smoke their way to the face of the opponent. But and at least we have now, uh, I guess, a stream uptime at ten hours, something like that. That we started mm. at. No, no, we started. We at started at thirteen o'clock. Yeah. At one. One p.m. 1 p.m. So, so exactly we got 10, 10 hours, hours stream up time. So when you're watching us till 10 hours now, you're hopefully like happy that we are close to the end of our games. Milan okay. won. Actually, the we know that Milan already won. So at Fire least one of the war. other players won as well. So a big congratulations to Milan and of course their location. I hope. Uh, you had a lot of fun there. Probably nobody of them is watching because they're watching the Italian stream. But Whoa. also a lot of... 3-0. Uh, 3-0, actually. So really, really well done by them. Congratulations once again to... What is it? Snowman and... Snowman, uh, Snowden, Invian and... Invian what's the last... And, uh, um, if our administration give us just a quick, quick scroll down. And, and Romeos. Romeos. So congratulations to you three. You won at least... 90 euros plus a lot of uh, rocket, rocket hardware gear, and blizzard, blizzard goodies. goodies and so on so and thank you for that thank and you for the uh, fame. yeah and uh, <laughs> thank you for participating that's what i wanted to say uh, of course to all the locations and uh, yeah it was a, uh, a lot of fun games uh, sadly not the most uh, entertaining final and a, a really short one but a lot of the games before were really really nice as well and a lot of fun to cast as well from our side. And yeah. Thank you for tuning in on this Saturday on our yeah. channel. If you liked what we're sending here, make sure you hit the follow button on Twitch 
and the like and button on Facebook and Twitter. Yep. So you keep up to date what we are doing. There's Nuraka coming in, our third caster who is still here, who has managed yep. to do the German stream on our second stream. Yeah, and of course, also a thank you to Harlekin who came by and, and helped us Be cast. And Be. Oh, there's the winning, or no. Oh, there are all photos again of yep. the locations who are like praying and dapping all the time. Pretty good. So it was a good day of Hudson. It was a good tournament. And it's hard to say, but it's amazing to see that we have had five meltdowns in our tournament. Yeah. And 11 more locations. 11 more locations. And the one From not of a meltdown won, but yeah. a meltdown got into the final as well. Yeah. And we had more than 10 countries participating in the tournament as well. So a lot of different countries playing here. We had Denmark. We had Netherlands. We had... Russia, we had Poland, we had Hungary, we had Italy, we had Fran uh, France, we had Spain, we had Great Britain, and I'm sure, yeah, Finland as well. And maybe I even forgot another location, I don't know, but uh, yeah, amazing, really, really ah. nice. Now you guys can see and the organization in the background there. There's our entire remaining <laughs> team, as, al as some of them have already left, so... Yeah, thanks, of course, to all of the guys behind us as well. Behind the scenes, yeah. everything. Did an awesome job over there <laughs> organizing all this stuff. And uh, yeah, was a nice tournament. A lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you really enjoyed it or even if you don't en enjoy it and just want to give us still any feedback, you can do that with info at barcraft-hl.de. Uh, or you can also follow us, of course, on Twitter, on Facebook, on uh, Twitch, of course, as well. That's where you are at the moment. And uh, also follow our German stream there, which is just the same with a DE at the end. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in and you see you guys in a while. Take care. <laughs>